Guzri Todi has the same notes as Miyaki Todi, uh, except that the Pancham is omitted in Guzri Todi. Uh, so my question is, is that the only difference? Because the Pancham is used rather sparingly even in Miyaki Todi. So if one were to um, sing Miyaki Todi without touching the Pancham at all, would that sound like Guzri Todi? Now that indeed is a very thought-provoking question and I am so glad that serious listeners are asking such questions. The question is, do you get Kujri Todi just by omitting the Pancham from Todi? So the wider question is, is it only the change in the notes which makes a different rag or a variant of a rag? Or is there more to it? So let's go and explore Todi. What is Todi? Todi uses Pancham as we said. As we know, a rag goes well beyond just being a set of notes and there is a chalan which defines a rag. But what further characterizes a rag is the specific harmonic pairs which are used for developing the rag. If we look within the structure of Todi, we know Todi, the Dhaivat is quite prominent in Todi. Now this Dhaivat enjoys a very interesting relationship with the Sa. The Sa is the Gandhar of this Komal Dhaivat. So if I imagine the Komal Dhaivat to be the Sa, then Sa would become its Ga. The Sa, Sa, Ga. Now Todi further uses the Komal Rishab and the Komal Gandhar. So what are they? Fulcrum, you can look at the sa, re, ga as progressively the ga, ma, and pa. So there is such a harmony built within the structure of the uh, rag, uh, todi here. So when you use the pancham in todi, another interesting thing is happening. Ga pa da sa. The relation between da sa and the ga pa is the same. So when we look within the structure of Todi, we see that the the Gandhar Pancham pair is is harmonizing with the Daivat and the Daivat Shadja pair. So Todi goes on to use the Daivat Gandhar pair as its prominent axis for development. So the Sangati which is used for developing the rag relies more on the Daivat Gandhar pair. <laughs> So, 
Gandhar becomes more prominent in Todi. Now when we go on to make Gujri Todi by taking the Pancham out, the focus shifts from the Gandhar and then the Daiva Trishaf pair. becomes more prominent. So the Rishab takes the more prominent position in case of Gujri Todi. And this is also logical because the Pancham which was supporting the Gandhar pairing is not there anymore. Another small change which this brings about is the Nishad also becomes a little bit more visible because the Nishad Tirumadhyam pair also comes into play. So as you see now, the difference between Kujri Todi and Todi goes much beyond just Omitipti Panchama. And this is reflected in the Bandishas also. So if we look at Todi. see the, the abundance of Komal Gandhar compared to the Komal Risha. And the Pancham is not so sparing as you thought it would be. Looking at Gujri Todi, So that was the difference between Gujri Todi and Todi. As more exercises on this same line, I would want you to explore the difference between Malkons and Chandrakons. Do we really get Chandrakons by just changing the Komal Nishad to Shuddha Nishad? Explore.